Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Beth. And for today's video, I am going to be talking about this new Sephora Favorites Perfect Pout Lip Set. So I thought I would just go ahead and tell you about some of these products and do some lip swatches. And I will have timestamps for each of the products down below. So if you'd like to jump ahead to a particular product, uh, you are welcome to do so. Uh, but this retails for $28 and uh, this is kind of an impromptu video. I think this just released after Christmas. It's kind of a weird time to release new products, especially like this that are kind of giftable. But anyway, I saw it and what really drew me to it is the full size of the Charlotte Tilbury Happy Kiss, which I've had my eye on for a while now, but I've never actually purchased it. So um, when I saw this pop up for $28, which is less than what this retails for normally, uh, this Charlotte Tilbury Happy Kiss normally retails for $34. So even with like 20% off, you're still getting your value with that product. And then there's also a second full size product, which is the Rare Beauty Lip Liner. I wasn't particularly interested in trying that, but I was more than happy to uh, get that as kind of a bonus. And then there are three other deluxe products, uh, two of which I've tried before, but I will swatch for you and then one which is the Laneige Lip Treatment Balm uh, that I haven't tried. So they say that this has an $83 value. Uh, I did the math and as best I could tell, it kind of came out to about $77, but I'll give them the benefit of the doubt with the extra five or $6. It's close enough for me, and like I said, I'm definitely getting my money's worth with that full-size Charlotte Tilbury. All right, so as you can tell, it just comes in a little pouch like so. And I'm just going to cut this open. I don't think I cut far enough. Always seems to happen with these types of packages. So it looks like it is resealable if you wanted to reseal it for some reason, if you decided to return it, I guess. Uh, but anyway, we have the Rare Beauty Lip Liner, the Happy Kiss from Charlotte Tilbury. There aren't any boxes or anything inside. They're all just kind of loose. And then we have the deluxe sizes here. So we have the Clinique Black Honey, the NARS Laguna Lip Balm and the Laneige, what is this, Lip Treatment Balm. So I'm going to start off with this and I thought it was kind of ironic because this was an option in the, I think, winter FabFitFun box, but I decided not to get it ultimately. And uh, I just applied these static nails. So I guess I'm a little bit more limited in what I can do with my fingers here, but uh, I did pull out this little Laneige um, spatula that comes with their uh, overnight, what are these, lip sleeping masks. Uh, so I thought I would go ahead and use this to apply it. And the full size product retails for $25 for 10 grams. Uh, the sample is only two grams, which is, I guess, a fifth the size. So this has a value of about $5. They say it is a pearlescent daily lip treatment that coats lips in nourishing hydration, visibly smooths lip wrinkles, and boosts the look of lip fullness. It has coconut oil, which is supposed to deeply moisturize to lock in hydration and visibly soften lips, peptide, and adenosine to visibly smooth lip wrinkles while boosting the look of fullness and firmness. And it also has a pearlescent shine that reflects light for an illuminated pout. So unlike the lip sleeping mask, I think this is designed to be worn during the day. Obviously you can wear the lip sleeping mask uh, during the day as well, if you like. And this is supposed to be pina colada scented. I don't think I'm getting a very strong. Yeah, I guess if I, really kind of focus on it. It's nice, it's not overpowering. So I think some of the benefits, obviously we have the pearlescent shine, and I think it's also supposed to smooth the look of the lips. So let's go ahead and, I might have gotten too much. It is, I think, thinner. And the full size has a, it has the applicator in the lid, which is nice. Yeah, it's definitely not as sticky as the full size. And I can smell it now as I'm applying it. Like I said, I think I got too much. I'm not sure how the spatula that comes with the full size compares to uh, this little applicator. If you do have both, I'd be interested in knowing that. 
I don't hate it. I, I was kind of scared by, I guess, the scent and the fact that they say it has a cooling sensation that helps lips look fuller. So that ingredient I think is menthol, I'm not gonna be able to pronounce this, Menth menthoxy prop so I'll just put that ingredient on the bottom of the screen because I can't pronounce it, but uh, according to the Paula's Choice website, and I can kind of feel it um, on my lips as well, it is not a great ingredient because it can be irritating. Uh, it is a synthetic derivative of a menthol and is known to produce effects that are twice as strong as menthol. So not really probably the best for the health of your lips, um, but you know, I understand what they were going for with having a lip balm type product that would make your lips look nice during the day. So I like the way it looks. I just wish they had omitted that product. Cause for me, when I put on a lip balm, I want it to moisturize and keep my lips looking nice in the long term, and not just kind of give me some immediate effects. Okay, so the next product is the NARS lip balm, Afterglow lip balm in Laguna. I do happen to have one that is open, so I'll just use the open one. But this is, let's see, 1.1 grams. The full size is three grams and retails for $28. So this has about a $10 value. And this shade Laguna is supposed to be a shimmering bronze with gold shimmer. So I'll go ahead and apply this one. So this isn't my favorite color of this type of product, but I do enjoy the formula. Uh, for me, it's just a tad brown, maybe. I mean, it's not bad, but, uh, and the fact that it is kind of a sheer lip balm, I think helps. Uh, but for me, it's kind of a nice product to put in your bag, maybe. Uh, so you can apply it on the go without a mirror and just give you a little bit of moisture, a little bit of color. Nothing too dramatic, but it's a really easy going formula. And I don't think this one has a scent or taste to it. So um, I also enjoy that as well. Okay, so that is the NARS lip balm. Maybe Sephora released this because you're going into January when you know the winter months make your lips feel pretty, pretty dry. Okay, so this next product, this is another deluxe sample. This is the Clinique uh, almost lipstick in black honey. This is another deluxe size. This size is 1.2 grams, which is just over half of the full size, which is two grams. And the full size retails for $22. So this has about a $13 value. And Clinique says that it is a universally flattering ultra light lip balm in an iconic shade that anyone can wear because it creates a one of a kind lip look on everyone. Not quite a gloss, not quite a lipstick, but more like a balm. This transparent lip balm fuses with the natural tone of your lips to create a lip look that's unique to you. The sheer emollient rich formula glides on for easy layering. So I have tried this before, like I said, and I think uh, it has the, the bits on the edge, I think needed to be kind of rubbed in a little bit. So I like the color of this better, but I think it's maybe a little less forgiving to the lips, a little bit more towards the lipstick territory than the NARS product. And I know this kind of went viral and was sold out a bunch of places. I think now you can pretty much find it wherever Clinique is sold. Uh, but I did want to mention that Amanda Z has done a couple of videos about Black Honey on her channel. So uh, if you'd like to possibly see some dupes or alternative products in that same vein. I'll link that video so you can go check it out. Okay, so time for, for me anyway, the main event. So I kind of ordered these from what I thought would be the easiest to remove without affecting the look of the next product. So I'm saving the lip liner for last and then I'll probably throw one of these balms on top. And as I'm, you know, removing the products and everything, my lips do, I think, get a little bit more color. I thought this would be an easier lip swatch video to do than like a liquid lipstick video, but still. Okay, so this is the full size Charlotte Tilbury Hyaluronic Happy Kiss Lipstick Balm in Pillow Talk, which is a shade you are probably familiar with. This is Charlotte Tilbury's iconic nudie pink. 
They say it is a hyaluronic acid infused formula that provides the hydrating power of a balm with the color payoff of a lipstick for a pigmented dewy lip look. They say it was created to leave lips looking plumper, smoother, and more hydrated while giving them a happy glow. It glides on with a nourishing, cushiony, dewy, soft gloss finish and features high performance, hydrating color your lips will love. And then it has a quote from Charlotte Tilbury that says, happy kiss is happiness. So this has hyaluronic acid, so it's supposed to hydrate and nourish for plumper looking lips, sea peptide to reduce the appearance of vertical lip lines, and rich emollients to increase color payoff and provide a glossy finish. So for the suggested usage, um, I've heard some people complain that, you know, it kind of feels cheap. I guess for a product like this, I wouldn't expect it to be kind of too luxe. And you can hear it clicking. So you're supposed to just kind of get as much product as you think you need. And it, you know, it's taking a little bit longer, probably the first go around here. So glide onto your lips for high performance hydrating color. The super soft formula was designed to melt on your lips. And they say that due to its hydrating fondue like texture, which I thought was a really interesting way to describe it, hyaluronic happy kiss is non retractable. And before I apply that, I will just go ahead and show you that the Clinique is retractable and the NARS is as well. The Laneige is obviously in a pot. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply this. Again, I don't think this has any scent. I did kind of look up this product to see if it had mint or anything in it, which is an ingredient I don't typically enjoy. So this is interesting. I know uh, Amanda Z again has talked about this product quite a bit and I think this is one of her favorites. Some of my foundation is rubbing off just a bit. I do like it. I like the color. I think what's surprising me is that I thought it was going to be more similar to the Tarte, what are these called? The Maracuja Juicy Lip. I think I might actually prefer the Tarte formula, which is surprising to me. Um, I'll go ahead and let me zoom in for you. All right, so go ahead and remove this. I just wanna show you what the Tarte looks like for comparison. So for me, the Tarte, it's a click style as opposed to a twist, which I don't know if one is necessarily better than the other. For me, the idea of this product is very similar though. And I don't know if with a click, if you, will remember more that you can't retract it or if it'll be easier to control, I'm not really sure, but I think this one is just, it's glossier. I think it's its thicker, it feels more kind of cushiony on the lips, and I think what I like about this product is that, I don't know if you can tell, it like really does fill in all my lip lines. So if that is a concern to you, I would definitely recommend checking out this product. And I'm not sure what this retails for full price, but Tarte frequently has sales, sometimes up to, I think, 40%. Honestly, I would probably suggest the Tarte. And I know they've kind of expanded the range as well. I think there's some plumping formulas there. I think is also a new kind of more lipstick formula. Yeah, I don't know. I'm glad to have tried the Charlotte Tilbury and I do like the design of the packaging and the shade and everything, but I don't know, I think there's something just more unique about the Tarte. So last up here, we have the Rare Beauty Kind Words Matte Lip Liner in the shade Fun, which is a neutral mauve. So again, this is full size, and I think I said it retails for $15. They say it is a super creamy, waterproof lip liner that glides on like a balm to define lips in the same 10 rich made to match shades as the Kind Words Matte Lipstick. So you can get a matching lipstick if you so choose. Uh, and it says define and shape lips with one swipe color and a soft matte finish with an incredibly smooth balm-like glide that won't skip or tug. This waterproof liner not only stays put all day without smudging, but it keeps your lipstick in place too. Keep the retractable tip sharp with the built-in sharpener. So yeah, that's always a good thing to check. So I think you would just pull, yeah, so, oof, not drop it ideally. Um, so it just has one of those little plastic guys on the end. And I think this one is twist up. 
does twist down as well. So let's go ahead and go in here. So I'm just gonna start from the bottom. And I usually like to kind of fill in my lips. This is a tad brown. And you can kind of see, I didn't exfoliate my lips or anything before filming this. So I like filling my lips in. And I think it is really creamy. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure I love this color. It's not bad. I can see it working for a lot of people. I think maybe I would enjoy this color more in the summer. It's not bad, but I don't think it's the shade I would have chosen out of all of them. All the shades in this line are pretty neutral, so uh, I'm going to top it up with the with the Charlotte Tilbury. And my, my lips do have kind of a satin matte look to them, so it's not super dry looking, which is nice. Again, I don't think I love that color of the lip liner. I, I try to go in with kind of more neutral makeup. Let's see how well it stands up to being removed. Okay, I went a little bit lighter on the liner, didn't fill it in all the way. And I'm gonna go in with the Clinique Black Honey, see if that can give me a more rosy color. Still not totally in love with that. Okay, I'm just gonna put the Clinique Black Honey on by itself. I think that's the favorite shade for me anyway, with what I'm wearing and my makeup. Okay, so um, that is the end of the lip swatching. I'll just quickly kind of swatch all of these on the back of my hand. I guess so you can see opacity. All right, so those are the five products there swatched on my hand. From my pinky to my thumb, we have the Laneige Lip Treatment Balm, then the NARS Lip Balm in Laguna, the Clinique Almost Lipstick in Black Honey, the Charlotte Tilbury Happy Kiss, and then the Rare Beauty Liner. So I think, you know, because these are sheer, I think these colors are gonna work on pretty much everyone. It's just kind of a matter of preference in terms of what you like and maybe the other makeup and everything that you're wearing. So as far as whether it is worth it or not, I think you definitely get your value assuming you like um, at least the Charlotte Tilbury product. Uh, and I don't think any of these are bad products. I think it's just a matter of preference and that kind of thing. I was definitely happy to be able to try the Charlotte Tilbury um, Happy Kiss formula at long last and uh, the Rare Beauty lip liner, as I said, was kind of a perk. I'd already tried the NARS and Clinique, like I said, although as you can see, I did enjoy the Clinique Black Honey the most out of all of these. And um, I was glad to try the Laneige as well, just out of kind of curiosity. So I definitely don't regret picking it up at $28, even though it wasn't an absolute home run. Um, I was able to also get as a deluxe sample, the Living Proof Triple Bond Complex, which I'd had my eye on and was curious about. So um, that was a kind of added win. And then um, speaking of Amanda Z, I don't know why she was kind of in my head today, but she has talked very heavily about the Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation, which I've almost purchased before, but I never actually did. This probably doesn't go light enough for me, but I can at least, I guess, get a sense of the formula. And then I also have here the Kerastase Eight Hour Magic Night Serum, which I think Brittany Clark, I think is her name, um, talked about. So I'll have some hair samples and the foundation to play around with, I guess. Uh, so anyway, so that's it for this video. Hopefully kind of short and sweet. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it useful. Uh, let me know if you are interested in picking up this little kit here. Um, after seeing my review, if you've tried these products separately and what you think of them. So I'm actually filming this on New Year's Eve. So uh, this will be the last video I film, I think, in 2022. Uh, so I hope all of you are having a very safe and happy start to 2023. And until next time, uh, I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.